Luncheon Kingdom. Oh, we gotta fight another brutal, and we gotta fight that bird. Who wants that freaking meat? Let's get that meat, gamers. By the way, guys, speaking of going and getting that meat, go to a good old YouTube channel called Gamer Meat. It's a couple of guys goofing around, really great content. What highly recommend? All right, so the coinage here is like tomatoes, I think. How can I get these? Oh, I need to get a fireball across, don't I? All right, well, I guess I can get those later. Oh yeah, <laughs> little chef's hat. You got that corn over there. It's cone. The most beautiful thing. Woohoo! Oh, well, I just destroyed those three Goombas. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Uh, what is over here? Uh, Goomba lady. Goomba lady, okay. So these tomatoes are hot, so when you hit them, you know, there'll be puddles of tomato. But with the freaking uh, bubbles over here, I don't actually know what they're called. They might call, be called, like, lava bubbles or something. Uh, you can, because you can, like, jump out of the the soup stuff here and you can land on those so there's a those kind of turn into platforms for the the fire thing which i botched that horribly oh yeah when mario burns his butt he starts running like a madman like he always does i freaking love it in mario sunshine when he when you fall in love because like wow mama <laughs> he sounds like he's in excruciating pain which i mean wouldn't you be oh my goodness this makes me think of Kingdom Hearts for some reason. Oh, wait, what's it called? Something Coliseum. Olympus Coliseum. That's the name of the world. Oh, we're fighting this guy again. Oh, that makes sense. Because he eats a lot of food and he vomits. Oh my god, is this Queso? I need that heart. Thank you. I'm a heartless in Kingdom Hearts. One socket. Boom. Oh, it just clears out all the vomit. Or are those supposed to be like beans or something? Or are those... I think those are beans. It could be something different. Oh, it still got me. Dang it. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. The moons here are the best moons because they're light blue. Those also look the most delicious. The light blue ones and the pink ones look like they would be so good. Nintendo, release some candy that's like hard candy, but also like gummy candy of the moons. Like, you could make so much money and make them, like, Starburst and Skittles combined. That would be... Oh, I would buy those like crazy. Nintendo, I would give you all my money for that. All the money that I don't have because I'm broke, but yeah. <laughs> Whenever I get money. Three tomatoes? Or are those supposed to be apples? I think those are supposed to be tomatoes. But look at all this. We got freaking tomatoes, eggplants disgusting shrimp uh we got some uh crap what are these called these aren't leeks are they they're uh turnips that's the word i think we got some beans we got some um bell peppers that's what they're called got some pumpkins oh man they're probably making a zelda stew aren't they yeah dude i also like how like low poly this world is i bet this was like very quick to make they do have some gradient to them but like you know not a lot of, like, processing power and all that stuff compared to, um, all the other kingdoms. Knock the cans down. Golly. Yeah, buddy. Uh, ooh. Ah, uh, ooh. I can get a power moon right here, too. Oh, this is more difficult because there's five instead of three like last time. What's up, guys? Y'all are in the sand kingdom. Okay, so it's after the hearts. Oh, I missed, um, dang, I'm at, okay, dang, I literally just missed one. There we go. Yeah, nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, so this one requires a good bit of moons. Not as much as, uh, Metro Kingdom, I think. I still think that has, like, the most moons you need to get, although I could be completely wrong about that. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention, uh, you know in New Donk City, with the, like, safety cone looking flicky things? Well, this one's like a fork, but this is like the natives in this place, <laughs> so it's so funny. 
Oh, look, a little mini stew. Oh, that's a golden turnip. <gasps> Dude, look how golden this thing is. Ah, there we go. I think it's the golden ones that have the moons. Yeah, but yeah, this is definitely like the most colorful kingdom in this entire game. Such a great color palette, too. Oh, you see, that's another thing. Uh, if you watch, I think it's either Metroid Fusion or Metroid Zero Mission on my channel. I talk about how Game Boy Advance games were very colorful. Like, the colors are kind of like exaggerated a bit. They're like bright. And, you know, what would be like brown would be like red to give it like more color definition to make it like really pop out at you and stuff like that. And if you look at a lot of games nowadays, it's just kind of like bland looking. But, and this game came out in 2017, and this game is pretty darn colorful like the, the GBA, so, you know, if I ever make a video game, it would be cool to make a video game that's like 3D like this, but to make colors like really pop out like how Game Boy Advance games would do, but yeah. And even like this right here is like, the colors just really pop out at you, man. It's really good. Oh, I could have got an outfit back there. It's fine. Let me go up here. Ooh, it's going to be kind of difficult. There we go. I have messed that up before. Oh my god, it's the Goombas. Is that cheese? <gasps> Hammer bros. Or are these cooking bros. <laughs> I think I have freaking epic hair. I forgot about that. <laughs> you just freaking throw frying pans, dude. That's what they do. You might be able to get like hammer bros and you can throw hammers instead of like pans but like this is so much better so i think y is just like a it's a closer attack and it's slower but if you shake it then it's like further out and you can go crazy with it so it's like oh you can also jump as well oh that's probably not good because that that guy right there but you can be like <laughs> it's very quick it's like freaking minish cap where it's like you press the B button like crazy, and uh, Link will go crazy because there's not like... I, I don't know how to describe that. There's like very little time with, uh, you know, the, the button pressing and what happens in the game and stuff. They usually like let it drag out a little bit, so you can't really spam stuff. But in this and in Minish Cap, they allow the spam. So, that'd be cool if... You know, more games did that as well, where you could just like spam the B button and like attack like crazy. Under the cheese rocks, free my soul. <gasps> Platform has been risen. What about the right path arisen? Big pot on a volcano. Dive in. So I just defeated the brutal, and I think this is the last section of this kingdom but i want to save that for last so i need to get a whole bunch of moons before i do that because that's just the way that i roll homeboy because i'm goofy like that do 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 and we're bro time bro time buddy Ooh, coinage coinage nah it's corn i freaking love corn Ah, oh, this is a cool thing. Get a coin right there, and then it's like, where are the other coins? And like, well, you get the hammer, bro, and what you learned from previously, you break all the cheese right here. Maybe it's not here specifically. Oh, there's a freaking moon up there. Oh, no, did I just, like, screw that up? Uh, I might have. I don't know. Is there a coin right here? Aha, there is coin. Yeah. Oh, nice. When you throw the pans, it just automatically collects the, the coin. That's really quick and smooth. I like that, Nintendo. You gotta have quick and smooth gameplay. Buttery smooth gameplay, Nintendo. There's another one that was hidden behind all this cheese. I found the cheese. Ugh. Awful stuff. I <laughs> just freaking collected the coin. Is it over here? Oh, the lava. Oh, that's it right there. Yo, that's cheeky, Nintendo. Nice. <gasps> there we go. I think that... Oh, that might be it. Oh, oh, it's so close. It, oh, it's so close. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <gasps> I made it! Yes! Nice! Now I can get this moon as well. Heck yeah! Oh god! <laughs> I also love the voice actor for the Hammer Bros as well. Ooh, I can go across here. Let me get a chef's outfit, please. Mario is officially a cook. I'm an official cook. I cook food. Some nice stew, some nice soup. Got me some slippers. Does he say slippers or slippers? Got me some slippers. I thought he said slippers. But either way, I love that meme. Is that a freaking moon as well? Yeah. You got axma? There's a thing here. Does this just like automatically kill me? Yeah, speed run. Salt pile aisle. Give me your bubble. There we go. There's a door right there. I can go that way. Oh yeah, because you know it's a bubble and stuff. It can actually go through like lattice platforms and stuff. So, oh, there's one right there too. Okay, well they give me an extra bubble, so that's good. Mario, Mario, chill, chill. Oh, this one's pretty cool. You just use the forks and flick yourself. <laughs> Go flick yourself. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You use the things that transfers the hat and it'll like hit the forks for you and stuff. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty dope. Pretty freaking dope. Go across over here and then, uh, Go right there. Yeah, so cool. Such a good game mechanic. Oh, I can actually go over there as well. Oh, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to long jump, but that still worked. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Oh, dang it, Mario. Oh, that works. Nice. Yeah. Wait, what is shaking the controller do? All right, you like lunge forward. Got a tomato boy right there. Oh God. Oh God, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. Ah, okay, I'm good. Man, I'm burnt. Oh God, hello. Let me clean myself real quick. Ah, come on. Well, there goes all of that health. All right, go through Mario. <laughs> oh, this mini game is tough. I still have trouble uh, with it to this day. Oh, this is like straight up Mario Sunshine right here, dude. Straight up Mario Sunshine. Woohoo! Woohoo! Alright, do I need to hit those tomatoes? Uh, I think so if I want to get a power moon. Alright, so put one right there, put one right there. There we go. That might be good enough. Huh. Yeah, dude. Okay, I was like, please let this be a power moon. Nice. Man, those bubbles are huge. Alright, then I could just... Huh. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I don't want to fall off. That would suck. Big time rush. Okay, yeah, that that's where I usually die because the platform is just like moving like crazy. Oh my god. Arrgh, immediately jump. Oh, 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 nice. I think there's another one that you can do where you have to like light some sconces, and then you get a power moon. Like it's like that good old. I think it's Mario 3D Land where you use the fireball for that, and it does the do 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 do. Plays a Zelda jingle. Mario likes to reference Zelda, and Zelda likes to reference Mario. Yo, what's up, gamer me? I'm in that good old lunch and kingdom. Gotta protect that stew, you know what I mean? I can get that uh, bubble over there and light that fire over there. The the sconce, I mean. <laughs> that tomato just freaking died. I just book it and then woo! There we go. Yeah! Go flick yourself. <laughs> Checkpoint. Oh, it's the meat. Oh, yeah. We become meat. I am meat. 
I love this kingdom. Yeah, it's really good. Taking a break from editing. Heck yeah, man. I'm gonna get you all hungry. You're gonna have to come back over here and get some food. <laughs> gamer meat. <gasps> Guys, it's gamer meat. <laughs> the bird freaking moves the meat into the stew. We just jump on these vegetable platforms. Make our way up to the boss. Oh yeah, we got some cone. It's cone. The most beautiful thing. Okay, now I gotta fight the boss. And then get another multi-moon. This bird is crazy. This is a crazy bird. Oh no. It's blowing me. Oh, that's gonna destroy the stew. <gasps> All oh, right, it like makes the volcano erupt. That's right. Man, Mario keeps on falling in this game. <laughs> yes. Oh, we gotta go in that cave. That's right. Does it look different? Yeah, it's like kind of sunset, I think. Now I'm gonna make my way up there. Oh, right, now there's just like stew in here. Bits of stew. Hammer Bros, what's up? See ya. It's Cone. Nice. Cave time. Oh no, it's this part. Oops, didn't mean to do that. That was funny. Oh my god. We gotta jump over these things. Woohoo! Obstacle course. Oh, I need to be on these. Right. Oh, I made it. Nice. Light it. Yes, don't burn yourself, Mario. <laughs> don't light your booty on fire. Cockatiel showdown. Oh, we're getting close, guys. We're getting close to the boss. Oh, by the way, guys. Because Gamer Me was saying that he's taking a break from editing at the moment. Um, go check out his Mario 64 video. That has gotten views quickly. Like, I was talking about views on my channel. That video went up in views faster and more views than my videos have been doing. So it's a great video. Go check it out. Give him some support and all that stuff. It's a really great video. And uh, can't wait to see what the next video is going to be. It's keeping it a secret for me. So I'm like excited to see what it is. So yeah. Go check out that good old gamer meat. Oh god, piranha plants. Ha, stunned ya. Ugh. Making my way, jumping on salt platforms. Ooh, I, I usually burn my butt right there to make the process faster, but um, probably shouldn't do that. I should probably just get on, keep on going. Oh God. Oh, Mario, you didn't do the hat thing. LOL, thanks for the shout out. We're shouting out the video. You're welcome, good sir. I don't know why I said good sir. <laughs> But yeah, that, that, that video is really good. I, I enjoy it very much. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the next thing you're going to be doing is. Gotta go flick myself. <laughs> it's so funny to say that. Oh, it's these platforms. Oh my god, it's a freaking... Uh, what is that? A bell pepper. Ah, and we got some bubbles. Oh, yeah, this can be kind of difficult. Oh, wait, no, actually, because you can skip that. You can just... <laughs> you don't even have to do that part over there. Uh, oh, yeah, then I can, like, do that. So it's, like, way quicker than going the intended way. I wasn't the first person to find that, but when I found that, I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys, we're here. Boss fight time. Oh, yeah, we actually play as the bubble. You'll enjoy the next video. Put out for sure. Heck yeah, dude. Right, let me get rid of this, the stew bits. Because these will definitely get in my way. Oh, durians? Ugh, those things are disgusting. I never had a durian, but apparently they... I think they taste and smell horrible. So, I'm good on that. I'm good on durian. I might actually try it, but uh, I don't know. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so it, it vomits. And then it shoots out spiky balls. And then we hit it on the face, but like... The vomit platform gets a little bit more trickier as you go through the fight, so... Gotta watch out for that. Oh, yeah, also, the stew bits have some hearts in them as well, so... 
That's good to know. Oh god, I got hit. Hey, speaking of. A heart. Oh, there's another one. Just right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, so this is like zigzaggy. <gasps> Boom. I wonder if the lunge attack would be better for that. Because you can like, just like shoot forward at it instead of like going up. Yeah, it's funny. Usually like when you do this boss fight. And if you're like me and like hits all the stew bits. By the, the last phase there will be like no more stew in the arena. <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty funny how that happens like every time. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so this one's like spaced out and it makes it a bit difficult and I think it also still shoots out stuff. Aw, oh, fell out. It also kind of looks like tongues a little bit. That's kind of weird. Yes! Three cycle. Heck yeah. Boom, buddy. Oh, we just cooked that bird. Oh, we're going to have some some beef and some chicken. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes, man, we're getting so close. I think I literally have Bowser's Kingdom and the moon to do. Yes, Luncheon Kingdom is complete. Yeah. Oh, let's get after Bowser. Heck yeah. Let's go do it. Man, we got a lot of fuel now, dude. Yep, we got one more uh, ship balloon part to fill out, and then it's Bowser time, buddy. I noticed your Mario videos are doing great, too. Congrats. Yeah, man, this is unexpected. I honestly don't know why. I haven't really done anything different. So... That's pretty crazy, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's this part. Freaking uh, Dark Souls time. Dark Souls slash Skyrim, dude. This is just nuts right here, man. <laughs> oh, Godzilla attack. <laughs> And once again, we have crash landed. <laughs> oh my god, he has like everything on the ship now. I guess people just love Mario. I guess so. I guess people are having like a Mario trip right now, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Ruined Kingdom. This place is really cool. I love this kingdom so much. It's really quick. It's literally just a boss fight, but like for a Mario game, this is like this is like Mario Dark Souls, dude. I think there's a couple moons that you can get before the boss fight, but I don't know. I just like to go straight to the boss fight. The aesthetic here is so cool. Elden Ring and Super Mario? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, uh, Margit! <laughs> Margit, go back! Go back from whence you came. I love this boss fight, though. Oh no, I don't have six health either. This is going to be kind of difficult. I might die. But I don't know. Yeah, freaking... Ah, freaking lightning saw bleeds. That actually kind of makes me think of that Elden Ring boss. Where you get the somber smithing stone, uh, bell bearing. I think it's a somber smithing stone one. Like the glass boss thing. All right, gotta knock those off and then ground pound. Those probably give you hearts if you hit them, don't they? Those little spiky things. But yeah, this is such a good boss fight. Oh, like aesthetic wise. And like mechanical wise. <gasps> Alright, so I gotta jump and then jump. Oh, I notice the pattern like kinda changes with each time it does that. But it's like the, the freaking mouth is literally just like steps, but they make it work. Nice. Oh, maybe I actually have to uh, hit this to get hearts. There we go, that's it. Oh god. 
More blades, more blades, more blades. <laughs> Golly! He's a yo-yo master! Okay, that was only one time because he used a lot, but now it's just lightning central right here, dude. I have lightning central time. No. <laughs> Alright, this will be kind of difficult to get it in one go because there's so many now. Boom! And I think that's it. Yes! I love this boss fight. Probably the coolest boss fight in this entire game. <laughs> Just a three simple... A simple multi-moon. And it's yellow. I think this is the only place where they're yellow? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the moons aren't really color-coordinated with the worlds. This one should have been purple. And the Luncheon Kingdom probably should have been, like, pink. Or no, I guess the blue kind of works. Oh, wait, it's Seaside Kingdom. That's purple, yeah. That one probably could have been yellow, perhaps. <laughs> yellow! Yellow! You won't know that joke unless you've watched Boy Meets World. Season 2, episode whatever. Yes! And just like that, we're out. <laughs> Pretty much. It's very quick. Even when you, like, do extra stuff, there's not that much to do here anyway, so... Oh my god, I just realized, because you know, you made an Elden Ring joke, and Elden Ring has dragons. <laughs> I just, for some reason, didn't make that connection until just now. Alright, we outie boys. This is probably the quickest kingdom. 